Hello, and good afternoon or good morning to everyone on the call. I'm really excited to share with you today uh, how you can work with Trade Centric and Amazon Business to get your Amazon Business account directly integrated to NetSuite ERP to simplify your purchasing and invoice reconciliation. For our presentation today, we're going to start with some basic introductions, and then we're going to dive right in. We're going to talk about who TradeCentric is uh, and where we fit into the puzzle. We'll talk about the benefits of working with Amazon Business and how both a punch-out and an e-invoicing integration can help you drive automation uh, and save time uh, within your NetSuite ERP. We're going to do a live demo both from the Amazon business side and also from the NetSuite side so that you can see how this technology will specifically help your organization. We're gonna cover a case study uh, with a, a real organization that works with this integration between trade-centric and Amazon business today. We'll have opportunity at the end to go through some question and answer so please feel free to enter your questions while we're going through the webinar so that we can get those started. And then we're gonna talk about how you can get started with TradeCentric and Amazon Business today. As Hannah mentioned, I'm Matt Hassler. I'm the Director of Strategic Partnerships and I'm joined today by Mahesh. I'll let him quickly introduce himself. Thank you, Matt. Hello everyone. I am Mahesh Reddy, Integrations Leader here at Amazon Business. My role centers around seamless integration with e-procurement partners like TradeCentric with a key focus on facilitating punch-out and e-invoice integrations for our valued customers. Thank you. Thanks, Mahesh. So I feel like Amazon Business doesn't really need an introduction, but just in case you've never heard of TradeCentric, let me share with you just a little bit about who we are and where we fit into this space. So TradeCentric is the industry standard in connected commerce. It means that we've designed a purpose-built integration platform that allows B2B connected commerce for thousands of organizations globally. Specifically for you, which we'll talk about on this presentation, it means that you'll be able to use TradeCentric to connect your NetSuite ERP directly to your Amazon business account so that you can easily transact and capture all of your purchases with Amazon Business across your entire organization with seamless integration. We do this with punch-out, purchase order, and invoice automation. Outside of our specific NetSuite and Amazon integration, we have over $100 billion transacted through our platform today. And uh, we've built more than 10,000 supported customer integrations. And today we have 5,000 companies that are participating in the trade-centric network with services like we're discussing today. And we have tremendous expertise across selling platforms and purchasing platforms. We've built these integrations to over 75 different e-commerce uh, platforms and over 150 different procurement solutions. Mahesh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the benefits of Amazon business for organizations? Sure, Matt. Yeah, that's great to see the volume of transactions flowing through TradeCentric. Now, let's see some of the challenges that the organizations are facing today with tail spend. So within the organization, there are employees who make purchases using credit card or P card. Some may require pickup from the retail location. They have to go to the physical retail location and then pick up the items. And some of the employees make purchases separately and expense it to the organization. So these kind of expenses, the organizations do not actually have a visibility of these transactions. The third one is some purchases require special approvals where which needs consuming and incorporating like additional delays in purchasing. And due to lack of guidance, some users make offline requests. So these are all the common challenges that the organizations face today. Now let's review to see how to overcome these challenges to streamline the organization purchases with Amazon business integration and also 
to review the bin benefits of Amazon business integration. So one of the biggest benefit with Amazon business is the business pricing and the selection. So the users will get more depth and breadth of products and also the quantity discounts. When compared to Amazon retail marketplace, it's approximately six to 7% more competitive pricing on the business marketplace. Multi-user accounts. Most organizations buy on Amazon in some form. Having all user expenses at one centralized environment can be very empowering. You can ultimately optimize the spend. With Amazon business, you can also separate the transactions and users by department and by location. So you have an option to create separate groups and manage and maintain the department expense and spend and the users separately. The third one is bulk ordering. Take the use case of admins ordering for school summer camps or special events in the organization or ordering items for all employees across the organization, right? It's an opportunity to order in bulk and utilize the bulk, the quantity discounts. Coming to the compliance, this is one of the key factor to have better control over the spend for any organization, right? When an organization allowing their users to purchase on a dynamic marketplace like Amazon business with millions, millions of products, they need to have some kind of control and put some guardrails. With Amazon business accounts, the organizations have option to define the purchasing policies and preferences, like defining preferred suppliers, preferred items, restrict or block certain items. So these are all comes under the compliance for the organization, which they can incorporate while making purchases for the employees. Now it's time to see how do the organizations get visibility into the spend, right? So the Amazon business analytics will solve the problem here. So you can monitor the organization purchasing behavior across the spend, across the categories, say SRP, right? Social responsible purchasing. If you have any KPIs or metrics around sustainability, climate friendly, diversity, small business, veteran owned, across 70 different data points are captured on a given order. So your team can actually benchmark and be able to report back to any type of purchases on Amazon business. Business Prime, it's the biggest value add. Everyone wants to receive their items fast with free delivery, right? So with Prime, Business Prime, fast and free delivery on prime eligible items, guided buying policies to restrict or block certain items, access to digestible dashboards to get visibility into purchases, whether it be aggregated shipping savings or insights into sustainable purchases. So you get those insights into it. Amazon business also provides seven day price lock. We understand when you take the cart back, it takes some time to get it approved within the organization. It will go to your manager and will get, it will get through some approval cycle. So Amazon business has a seven day price lock feature, which will lock the price and inventory at the time of checkout. So if the order is received within seven days, the original price and inventory is guaranteed. Now, Right. Yeah, let's see, let me hand it over to Matt to see how we can simplify the purchasing behavior. Thanks, Mahesh. Uh, great benefits for working with Amazon Business. And as you're working with Amazon Business, you want to have as much control as you possibly can over the actions of the buyers that you have in your organization. And that's really where the power of this integration comes into play. Uh, we'll see it here in a couple of minutes, but the whole idea is to simplify the purchasing experience and increase the overall efficiency of your organization by making it easier for anyone in your organization to purchase from Amazon business and have it captured. So first, you can drive compliance and control spent. 
You want the employees and your organization purchasing from the vendors that you have approved at prices that you have negotiated and at amounts that are within compliance of your spend controls in your organization. Connecting Amazon Business directly to NetSuite enables this. It also makes it much easier for your employees to actually purchase from Amazon Business. They'll be able to access, grab, a, create a cart, pull those purchases back into NetSuite in real time, eliminating the need for double keying, eliminating the opportunity for errors, uh, and ensuring that they're spending less time going through the purchasing cycle and more time doing productive work. Uh, which brings me to the third, is just saving time and resources. When your Amazon business account is connected directly to your ERP, everything takes less time because everything is automatically captured and the process is seamless. So if you're here today, you may be asking, what is a punch out integration? Uh, punch out is a, is a standard term. It's a technology that's existed uh, for close to 25 years. And it simply means that you are connecting to a, an e-commerce storefront for your vendor. In this case, specifically Amazon business that allows you to shop directly from your purchasing platform, which is NetSuite so that you don't have to work in two separate systems at the same time. Trade Centric, as I mentioned, we've built over 10,000 supported customer integrations. Uh, so we enable NetSuite to do punch out so that you can connect to Amazon business uh, directly through your platform. Uh, why would you do this? We covered that on the last slide, but it just makes it easier for your employees and for your staff to buy from Amazon business in a way that's compliant with your organization. Uh, it also makes it much easier and faster for them to complete those tasks. And after you've completed those purchases, you want to be able to uh, pay Amazon business for what you've purchased. And they want you to pay as well. Uh, so invoice automation, uh, Trade Centric will capture the electronic invoice from Amazon Business and place it directly into NetSuite so that you can see it, go through your spend approval processes and execute payment on that invoice in an efficient way. Uh, Amazon Business and Trade Centric have worked closely together to make sure that this configuration is, is simple and light and easy for you to execute. And with both punch out and electronic invoicing, you're completely automating end-to-end -end the purchasing cycle that you have with Amazon business, including reconciliation, visibility, and increased accuracy. All of this automation means that you won't have to manually key purchases into NetSuite after they're completed, uh, and you'll be able to just function more efficiently across your purchasing cycle. There's two steps to getting uh, your Amazon business and NetSuite integration up and running. First, Mahesh is gonna talk to you about how you can prepare your Amazon business account for the trade-centric to NetSuite integration. And then I'll show you exactly how the uh, integration works in real time with a live demo. Mahesh? Thank you, Matt for emphasizing the importance of auto reconciliation and why it's important to save time and money. Now let's get into how, let's get into like, how can we do this, right? What steps are involved in enabling punch out and electronic invoicing? So there are three easy steps from the Amazon side. If you do not have an Amazon business account, you have, you can create a business account, it's free like you can just register with your uh, email. Now, on the Amazon business account, you can select trade centric as your purchasing system and you can generate the credentials. So once you have these details, you are good to start the testing. Now let's see this in action.
So this is your Amazon business account. And on the business account, you can go to the business settings page where under members, groups, you can create groups. So this is where I was mentioning earlier, where for each department, you can create a separate group and you can manage the users and the transactions and purchases separately for each department. So when you click on add group, you can click, you can create, you can give any group name, uh, like trade centric. And you, you have an option to do individual payments or shared payments. So Amazon business do provide an option to pay with credit cards or with pay by invoice. It's the line of credit given by Amazon business with the terms 30 by default, but we can work on if there is any change needed on the terms and shared addresses. And you can click on add group. So once you add group, this is how the group comes up. And now you need to configure your purchasing system under system integrations. So I will select trade centric here. We have a dedicated purchasing system created for trade centric. And we also have a self-service guide for trade centric. So I will hit save. The credentials are auto-generated here. So when you hit save, you will be given with the punch out credentials and the purchase order URL on the next screen. So those are the details you need when you configure your system on trade centric side. And we also have a dedicated self-service guide tailored specifically for trade centric NetSuite integration. So where it will outline all these detailed steps, how to configure on Amazon business side and how to configure it on trade centric side. And on the group, I'm waiting for it to save and generate those credentials. And on the group, you have an option called status, which is like the group is in test mode or in active mode. I will show that in a moment, but as long as the group is in test mode, you have, you can test or place orders. You can test as if it's like a live order. So the orders, like your payment method will not be charged, but the orders will be placed and you can test end to end your punch out connection and your purchase order connection. You can just validate everything, but orders will not be placed because the group is in test mode. And once you validate all the test scenarios and you are good to, like go live, that's when you can make the group active. So which will make your uh, group into the live mode. From that point of onwards, your transactions will be, will be uh, like delivered and uh, your card will be charged. Now let's see how these credentials will be incorporated on the NetSuite side and on the trade centric side and how to do end to end validation. Now Matt will show on the other side of it. All right. Hopefully my internet connection is better than Mahesh's. Uh, though we didn't actually show the credentials, I just want to reiterate how exciting it is that we have created this turnkey integration between Amazon Business and Trade Centric. We've actually been building these integrations for years uh, for our customers and have dozens of customers that are NetSuite today that have connected to their Amazon Business account. But our partnership with Amazon Business has made the, that connection process completely turnkey so that you can easily produce the credentials that we need to drive these connections. So I've logged into a demo instance of NetSuite and I'm certain that everyone uh, that's on this webinar is familiar with this home screen. So let me just walk through how incredibly easy it is to purchase from Amazon Business directly from NetSuite. The trade centric integration creates a portlet directly on the home page, and you can share this portlet with any of your registered users on NetSuite that you want to give purchasing capability and functionality to. And you can see my Amazon business uh, vendor connection is right there on the home page to connect to Amazon business. All I do is click the link. 
From here, I am seamlessly logged in to my Amazon business account and I am delivered into the shopping experience that I'm used to, where I can browse all of the catalog, determine what it is that I need to purchase for my organization. Today, I think I would like to buy an office chair. I'm buying an office chair. Funny story, I actually recently had to buy my own office chair because my chair would no longer stay up. So after a couple of calls with my head directly over the table, looking like I was three feet tall, I decided that it was time to purchase a chair very similar to this. So I've added the chair into my cart and I need to submit approval for this chair within NetSuite so that my organization can approve the spend and automatically capture it. So after I've built a cart of goods, and it doesn't matter if it's a chair, it doesn't matter if it's one item or if it's 10,000 items, you can transfer a cart of any size. But I need to submit this chair for approval. And so I'll click the link and I'll be pulled from Amazon Business directly back into my NetSuite account uh, in a screen that's called a punch out requisition. And all that's happened here is we've pulled the cart data into NetSuite, uh, including the vendor, all of the pricing details. And if I scroll down here, you can see the description of the item that I'm going to purchase. And more importantly, I also am automating the item inside NetSuite. Because in order for you to uh, initiate a purchase order, the item has to exist within your system. And so uh, we use business rules to help you define how you're gonna do item association. And you can see here, this chair has been associated with ACC 00002. Now, if I have an approval process, I'll uh, have an option to submit this item for approval. And this setup, I have the authority to go ahead and create a purchase order. So I simply create the purchase order and this transaction is then processed and issued. So you can see that purchase order 1902 has been sent to Amazon. It's been received for processing. And from there, you'll get an electronic invoice uh, and uh, di move directly back into your NetSuite account so that you can approve and process payment with your vendor. And in this amount of time, all of the transactions have been captured inside your NetSuite account. So that's how incredibly easy it is to buy on Amazon Business with the trade-centric and Amazon Business integration. I wanna talk a little bit about one of the many customers that are already taking advantage of these integrations today. So this particular customer is a traffic engineering specialist, and they had uh, many buyers across their organization, and they were struggling with compliance and cost. So they had uh, multiple vendors they were pur purchasing from. Because there was no integration, there was no visibility into the purchasing control and behavior of individual employees. Uh, and there was constant communication from the buying organization to the accounting organization and constant manual data entry across systems in order to capture these purchases. Traffic engineer, this traffic engineering organization looked at opportunities to try to streamline this purchasing process, including looking at dedicated purchasing platforms that have punch out as a standard capability but the extreme costs associated with purchasing those systems was inhibited. So they partnered with TradeCentric and they set up 30 ERP users directly inside NetSuite without having to purchase a dedicated purchasing platform and enabled them with punch out on Amazon business so that they could purchase in the way that we just showed you. And had so much success in, in automating this process that they now have over a hundred users inside NetSuite. They've given access uh, to the Amazon business link 
and the automation of the purchasing across these users is saving them over $50,000 a year. It's dramatically increasing their accuracy and it's lowering their rejection rates. So in summary, uh, what you saw today was a very basic uh, and easy to use way to interact with Amazon business directly inside NetSuite. You saw a simplified purchasing process uh, that centralizes uh, the way your employees can interact with Amazon business. Through that integration, you'll be able to hold your employees more accountable to the, to the products that they're purchasing and ensuring that they're purchasing at the right price and they're purchasing products that they're approved to purchase. Uh, you'll be able to dramatically increase your spend visibility by accessing analytics inside Amazon business, but also being able to see all of those purchases that your employees have made directly inside NetSuite. From an e-invoicing perspective, you'll save time on reconciliation, you'll improve transaction visibility, and you'll also increase your accuracy because we are eliminating manual keying in every step of the purchasing process. Now I'm gonna pass control over to Hannah, who's gonna take us through some Q&A. All right, thank you, Matt and Mahesh. We've got some questions coming in from the audience, so let's dive in. First question, what's the first step for businesses looking to integrate their NetSuite ERP with Amazon Business through TradeCentric? And Matt, I'll let you take that. Thanks, Hannah. So, there, as we mentioned earlier, if you already have an Amazon business account and you're purchasing from Amazon business today, you can simply go to Amazon business and select trade centric as your purchasing integration. Uh, there is a uh, self-service guide that's available to help you uh, easily and quickly generate the credentials that you need in order to connect to trade centric. And from there, you just need to reach out to trade centric. Uh, we'll walk you through uh, and help you uh, enable NetSuite for punch out and e-invoicing automation uh, and connect you to Amazon business so that you can easily transact. Great. Thanks. Uh, another question here. What kinds of businesses or industries have benefited the most from using TradeCentric with Amazon business? Yeah, that, that's a good question. So, uh, a variety of industries utilize the integration of Amazon business, uh, including, including manufacturing, healthcare, biotech and life sciences, nonprofit, and, and much more, right? Because Amazon business is so diverse, it has a lot, of, lot to offer and can cater to a wide range of industries. Next question. I saw an announcement last week from NetSuite on suite procurement for Amazon business. Is this the same thing? Thanks, Hannah. Uh, we were at Sweet World last week. I'm sure that many of you on the call were at Sweet World. And uh, NetSuite announced that they'll be working on a new product called Sweet Procurement. Uh, this is actually an already available product. So TradeCentric has been building integrations to our customers to Amazon business for years. Uh, we've worked with Amazon Business in order to greatly streamline the work uh, that's required in order to, for you to build these integrations so that it's easily accessible to really any NetSuite organization, but it is available right now. Uh, so if you are interested in driving spend for Amazon Business through your NetSuite platform, reach out to TradeCentric and we will immediately start helping you and tell your friends. Okay, next question. Can I provide access to a subset of end users instead of all end users? Yeah, that, that is possible. So on the Amazon business side, you can only keep uh, some users on the group. Uh, whoever you need to have provide access, you can keep those users. Say, for example, you have some power users who needs access to wide variety of catalog, right? Whereas the other set, to restrict only to certain items, right? In that case, you can create two groups where one group will have the power users, whereas the other group will can, can have the subset of users. Yeah, and uh, I'll follow on with Mahesh from the NetSuite side of things. 
The answer to that is 100% yes. Uh, in order to access the integration, you'll have to have an employee who does have access to NetSuite and you can provide access to your Amazon business link in NetSuite to either full licensed users or employee users. And you can control by employee whether or not they have access to the portlet that we showed you during the demonstration. Next question, can I keep an Amazon test mode after I go live? Yeah, there are two ways to it, right? So if it's one group, you can test it and you can make it active so that that will serve as production group, right? But if you still want to have a test group, you can create two groups, one for test and your test environment can point to the test group and create another group for production, which will point to the production group. So one group can only be in either test mode or production mode. It's like a switch, right? But in your case, if you want two groups, one for non-production and one for production, it is possible. Great. Uh, one last question. Can we skip the approval step in NetSuite, i.e. go straight to PO versus requisition since Amazon business has configurable ap approvals or if we only give admins authorized to order from Amazon? Yeah, so you can control uh, how you go through the approval process in NetSuite. Uh, and that's independent of whatever approval process you have inside Amazon business. Uh, as you saw during the demonstration, uh, I stated that if there was an approval process, you would be triggered to go into it. Um, our demo instance is actually set up so that the approval is automated and the user can create a purchase order on the fly. I do think it's important to point out that if you want your uh, employees to be able to automatically approve and create a purchase order, uh, they do have to be fully licensed users on NetSuite. Employee users don't have access to the purchase order object inside the system. Uh, but outside of that limitation, the answer is 100% yes. Perfect. Well, that's all the time we have for Q&A today. So uh, thank you all very much for your time. Uh, we're excited to get started with you. As, as we said, we already have dozens of customers that are set up with this integration, and we want to help as many NetSuite customers as possible connect to their Amazon business accounts to automate transactions. Uh, you can find us and access us uh, just simply by emailing info at tradecentric.com. But please take some time, scan the QR code right now while it's on the screen, and you can also access us that way. And we'll be in touch shortly to help guide you through getting this started uh, quickly. That was great. Thank you, Mahesh and Matt, for your insights. If you'd like to discuss more, feel free to connect with our panelists on the LinkedIn via link dropped in the chat. Thank you, everyone, for joining us and have a wonderful rest of your day.